Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today there was an episode of Star Citizen Live on ships with John Crew and Paul Jones. Here's what you need to know in 1 minute and 32 seconds. AI Blade and NPC Crew are currently not being worked on. Physicalized components were dependent on metrics which are done on the newer concepts and have that space allocated. Art on legacy ships will be a bit of a backlog as they were never released with this functionality in mind. There are two external doors on the top of the updated Carrick. The Corsair isn't being worked on. The listed 3000 SCU is probably not going to be the BMM's cargo. The mole will function completely at release with triple size two mining heads. There are no updates for the Caterpillar door planned, but when it does open, it'll be in two stages where the door can open first and then the lift goes up and down. Sabotaging a ship component by removing it or shooting it is planned. The Carrick pods are in fact modules, the three cargo pods on the Carrick total 200 SCU. They're toying with the idea of making a science lab for the Carrick, and they're also toying with the idea of making an underslung hangar for a ballista for the Carrick. The C2 Hercules is going to be done first, and then the variants. The Endeavor is not being worked on. The Polaris is not being worked on. The Redeemer will be a gunship, and they've left the basic shape alone and simply added more guns, while updating it to look more like an Aegis ship. No confirmed date. The 600i will have an update pass with no confirmed date. The Hull C is in tech and waiting on docking mechanics. Chris Roberts has been working on the docking physics himself. Larger cargo containers and multi-zone physics grids that can animate are also needed. The Prowler shields won't be fully realized at launch, but that ship will have shields. And that's it. Stay tuned for more, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.